There's a secret ratio when starting a business of 1 is to 10. For every one good day you have, you'll have 10 bad days waiting for you. So let's talk about the most memorable times and what I learned from it. This happened at the very beginning, when no one knows what you're doing, nobody believes in what you're doing, and worst of all, you don't know what you're doing either. We started by selling on the street first and gathered up a little courage to put up a small store after a lot of fight and rejections. Don't expect the world to be kind enough. You will come across a lot of discouragement, disappointment and cruelty. Even the so-called industry experts, your close family and friends will say what sort of a big mistake you've done and even telling you that this will be a miracle if you can run this place. On that day, you have two parts to choose. Accepting failure, closing down everything and not lose any money over the business, trusting the experts or doing everything to make it work and believe that miracles do happen. So after being crazy for a long period of time and things start working, you can call that craziness courage. So before this industry crushes your ego, you crush it, cremate it and plant a tree on the top. The tree of acceptance and abundance. Be a waiter at your store, a happy waiter. Take insults and criticism with a smile, not a fake smile, an obedient one. The insults are water and manure to your plant. And most importantly, be ready to do anything and everything. Be ready to be seen at the bottom. Be ready to clean that table if required. Be prepared to wipe that toilet seat if a girl is waiting to use it. Be prepared to pick up a baby's vomit when no one is around and everyone's busy. And lastly, be the last one to eat and leave. All of this will give you a great sense of gratitude and fulfillment. And the investments and sacrifice you're making right now will give you a character of a lifetime. If you are focused on your goals, the right people will come and they will never let you go. For me, it is my partner that has been there on my side from day one through all the tough times. And my pastry chef that has a heart of gold. We care about each other, we compliment one another, we think about each other first before ourselves and talking about them makes me cry with a smile on my face. We haven't started off being the best team in the world, but our willingness to learn, our submission to knowledge, our care for each and every customer and our respect to each and every negative feedback got us to where we are and to think about it I think our bond is stronger than any family I know. There are a lot of bad things that will happen. More bad things than good things. But the good thing about the bad things is, they come with a lesson for a lifetime. I remember this because of this one particular employee that had mischievous intentions. Because of that, I had to visit the labor court at the age of 22. I've never been to a court before, never even seen a court before. No one will help you, no one will believe in you, and you will be tagged as guilty from the start. But the only weapon I had that day was honesty, integrity, and the stupidity to fight back. So when you're pushed up against a wall, and defeat is certain, I advise you to fight and fight harder. And sometimes, when you don't give up, God actually rewards your stupidity.
the only way to go through the hard times is to love what you do or else it gets very difficult and impossible if you love what you do you get the hope to see what you love grow and become and if i did not have the stamina i could not have greeted every single one of you that walked inside these past 5 years thank you for a beautiful 5 years and 500 more to go